Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're back in the garage. We're gonna be finishing up that fishing crate attachment uh, to that rear bike rack that we just put on that Trek Marlin 7. Uh, so the goal today is that we're gonna take a milk crate and using a couple um, fishing rod holder attachments, we're gonna stick those on that milk crate to where whenever I'm biking into fishing locations or things like that, I've got a place to hold a couple of poles, uh, maybe a bag or a bucket. Um, and so what we're gonna be doing is we're taking that Bontrager MIK uh, bike rack and we're using an MIK adapter base, which here it is right here. So you can see this is just the adapter base. And what I can do with this is I can actually attach it using some screws to the bottom of different types of bags, or in this case, a milk crate. Um, it's really very universal in what I can use uh, or what I can attach to it. So here you can see this is our crate. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this plate, I'm going to attach it. I'm gonna try to center it as much as possible and I will attach that here on the bottom of this crate. And then you can see how this works. So this just comes right into here and we'll click on like that. So my crate, which will be mounted to it, will just be right on there like that. Couple of fishing rod attachments, and uh, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead now. Uh, we want to make sure that we get this mounted far enough forward because the way that this thing works is you can't just pull it off. So there's a there's a special key here, right? That comes with it. Ooh, flips out, and then that slides in there, and then releases this uh, this latch that holds this on. So. Somebody can't just walk up and, and pull this off your bike. Um, now, you give anybody enough time, they're gonna, they're gonna figure out a way to get out there. I'm pretty sure I can stick anything into this hole uh, that will fit and that will push that in right there, right? Let's see, let's see if we can, oh, look at that. You guys see that? I bypassed it with my thumb. So if you're gonna secure something down there, I highly suggest locking it in there instead of relying on this key. But hey, that's also good to know in case I lose that key, I can get that off there. But I'm not doing, for, doing it for security purposes. I'm doing it for like a utility type of thing. Remember, all of this stuff here I buy with my own money. I mean, I'm not endorsing anything. This is just what I chose to use. Um, so if at any point that you find this useful, please make sure you hit that like button. And remember, as always, if you're new to the channel and you have not done so yet, make sure you subscribe. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some uh, uh, zip ties here and I'm just going to kind of mock this up. There we go. Kind of pretty secure. Let's give these a snip. And you could just go straight into uh, screwing this in there and, and mounting it. I just want to make sure that it's actually going to work. So let's see how this fits. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I just got to make sure that I get that centered on there. All my holes line up here in the middle. So that's, that's good. So these right here, these are our mounting holes. Now we are given some hardware to attach this to, which um, let me show you here really quick. We're given a screw, a flat washer, and a larger, thicker uh, washer here. And so this would slip down in between there. You can see that doesn't work. And so instead what I did, I picked up some fender washers. I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. So you can see these are super thin. So I don't have to worry about not being able to, uh, or not having a long enough screw. So I'm gonna take this screw here and still using the washer that was given because the head, I mean, I guess that would probably, it would probably work still. But I'm gonna use this washer. So this is the quarter inch um, by inch and a half. And so I'll start with that one. All right, just using a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to try to slide that 
cover as much of that as possible. It doesn't have to be super tight. You might get a little wobbling, but there's gonna be four of these down in here. And I'm, again, I'm gonna leave these um, zip ties down in there too. I think that'll give it a little extra support. All right, so we are solid. There's no lateral movement. There's no back to front movement or anything. So now we are ready to attach the fishing rod holders. So uh, let's see how we're gonna do that here. So I'm gonna take this off. Remember, we found out you don't need that key. You just reach up underneath. All right, now, these are the uh, fishing rod holders that I picked up. I picked these up on Amazon. These are B-Set Mattel. I have no idea what that means. Um, but this is the rear of the bike. So this is facing towards the rear of the bike. Now, using this crate, this crate is also another crate that I picked up on um, Amazon. I think I got a two pack of them for like $25 or something. I bought them a long time ago. Um, but the cool thing is, is this fits, I'm trying to, if I can remember how I had it in there. Oh, there it is. This fits down in that square. So it's the same exact size. So all I need to do, I'm gonna stick that right there. And all I need to do is come back in here with another one of those fender washers and attach it to the back side. And then on this right here, this will hold there. And then I'll just need to drill a rear hole back here. And again, I'm keeping all this facing towards the rear so that my rod will face out towards the back. And it's at an angle so it's not so high up that it, it's, it's impossible to manage. Ah, uh, yeah, that worked a lot better. So you can see here now, I have a hole right here marked where I need to drill. So this is the hardware that came with those uh, fishing rod holders. So I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match the diameter of this with a drill bit, right? Which this is a 5.30 seconds, which is pretty close. This is probably, a, yeah, probably pretty close. So now that I have that, I'm just gonna drill my basket. So there we go, we got that hole drilled. And now, let's see if everything lines up. All right, so that went through there. You can see it's hanging out in here now, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that smaller diameter actually, that 3 16th by an inch and a quarter um, right here. I think that'll work because everything's gonna be centered. I don't know if you can really see what's going on in here, but I've got the washer put over the bolt. Right, so I've got that there. I'm just gonna tighten this up now. And that is a nylon locking nut. So if you can't just hang on to it with your, with your fingers, you can always get on it with, some, with a wrench. Such a, such a cute little wrench. You can see this is a 5 16th. So I'm just gonna come in here right here and I'm just gonna hold it there. Then tighten it up from the outside. So I want it nice and snug. I don't wanna break the plastic, but you want it nice and solid. So you can see, even with that one on there right there, right there that'd probably be enough to hold this thing. So let's go ahead now and I'm gonna use another one of those fender washers up here in the top. I think I'm gonna have to go with the bigger one. So on this top hole, because it is right in this square, I won't be able to use the inch and a quarter like I did down here, so I'm back to the inch and a half. The inch and a quarter is just barely bigger than the square size. And so I wanna, I wanna have enough for it to grab to where it's not gonna pull through. Just a repeat of how we did it before. So same thing, get your wrench on that side, tighten from the outside. Or I guess if you had a ratchet and a deep socket, 
you could tighten it from the inside. Totally up to you, Whatever's, whatever works for you. So now I've got that top one tightened down and you can see that is not going anywhere. So I'm gonna repeat this for the other side and then I think we'll be good to go. All right, now there we are. You can see we've got those on both sides. They're nice and symmetrical, so it's gonna look really cool going down the road. Now, one thing, we can't have these sticking out. So you've got a few options there. You can use a reciprocating saw, uh, Sawzall, uh, you can cut those off, an uh, angle grinder, get in there with a cutoff wheel and cut those off, or you can just use a hacksaw blade and just come on in here. And, and cut it off that way. So that, that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off. There's no sense in you watching me do that. Um, and, and then we're gonna put it on the bike and we're gonna test it out. All right, now, once you get those off there and I gave you some bad advice, I told you to use that little hacksaw blade. Whoo, man. If you can, use some sort of power tool there because I got them, but I am tired. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and let's attach this thing and uh, let's let's see let's see how it works. I mean, I'm excited. You got like three feet of air that time. Oh well, there you have it. Sorry it wasn't some crazy uh, you know nine foot jump or <laughs> whatever. Uh, but it is a nice little bump in the road. Um, Right on this dirt road out here, I haven't had any problems. So um, I'll try it out a little bit more, make sure I don't have any problems, but um, I'm really excited about using this. I mean, you know, uh, there's a lot of different places that I wanna go to that uh, I don't like breaking my poles down and sticking them in a backpack. So this really frees up a lot of that extra space and can let me carry a lot of extra gear. Um, so if you guys liked it, if you enjoyed it, if it helped you out, I mean, I know not everybody's uh, fishing rack, uh, you know, bike rack is going to be the same, but hopefully it gave you some of those ideas. And if it did, uh, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. I plan on taking this out next week, hopefully doing some surf fishing. So if you guys are going to be interested in something like that, make sure you hit that notification bell uh, so that you are kept up to date right when those come out. So again, thanks for watching and, uh, you know, stay tuned. I'll catch you on the next video.